Hello, friends. Welcome back to Sex Betrayal Compassion: 100 Leadership Lessons from Building 100 Schools Around the World by Jimmy Tai DTM. This lesson is sponsored by Thong Viet Travel in District One, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, and CEO Miss Win Tu Tao. For more information, please visit flytovietnam.com. Thank you. Lesson two: No is not a dirty word. Story: COVID may have brought the worst out of many, and yet our foundation really thrived in 2020 with 13 project completions and almost double that with 23 projects in 2021. To be such an effective charity, while many nonprofit organizations suffered with low donations or canceled fundraising events, we changed strategy. We pivoted away from our annual signature 5K walk with 300 to 400 participants for obvious health concerns. Then we deployed smaller online project-based activities. To sustain funding for our school building needs, also we stay true to our mission of educating underprivileged children and rejecting other requests, even they were COVID-related. It wasn't easy, but we had to make tough decisions to focus on our mission. When Miss Wingley of Learn Play Grow Group, a college-based volunteer organization, In Saigon, Vietnam, that we have supported since 2017, requested our financial support to buy respirators and medical equipment from Wing Chi Phuong Hospital in Saigon. We were torn for days. We read and read again her urgent request, citing 3,000 new tested positive cases ballooned daily. While this number seemed minuscule to 300,000 to 500,000 daily cases in America at that particular time of 2021, this was a shocker to this country of 100 million people. Why? Because they had less than 1,000 cases combined in the first year, 2020, of the pandemic. Finally, we said no. To her request, for two reasons that influence our decision: public healthcare is not in our mission focus, and Saigon is that rural, remote region that we try to help. Tutorial: Everybody loves to say yes, and leaders are no exception. We would love to say yes to all requests for funding applications. That arrived in our headquarter office, but historically, for every one out of five applications, we learn to say no, although they are deserved support too. Many of them were requests for affordable family homes, sick member in hospital, toilets for sanitary, etc. But whether a project impacting a few individuals. Versus changing hundreds of children for generation to come is our guiding principle and determined factor. It's not in wrongs to say no. Just learn to say no with compassion. Action. Find a quiet place with a pen and paper. Ask yourself these questions and write down the answers. Have you ever said no to a request? How do you feel? Do you feel bad or blame yourself? Do you ask to see how the other person think or feel from your rejection? Can you distinguish a request from the person who requested it? Reflections: Say yes is easy. Have the courage to say no to all distractions that won't move your vision forward. We didn't say no to the person. Whom did the request? We declined projects that didn't help us moving our vision 100 closer to its goal. The same person can come back and submit requests 
for BSF related projects and we will assess it without prejudice from past rejection. In fact, Ms. Nguyen submitted a dormitory project for Duck Nome in May 2022 and we approved 150 million dong to fund this project, BSF number 113, to serve 104 students and 5 teachers. We also have the opportunity to visit the brand new school and lovely children in 2023. Thank you for listening to our lesson number two, and we were looking forward to see you in lesson number three. Sometimes the answer to why is why not. Goodbye.